Okay guys, here we are at this massive place. We've got buildings over there and we've got, <laughs> I mean, don't make you sick, more buildings over here. And then one of these buildings, buildings That's where I'm supposed to be today. we're supposed to go uh, <laughs> to have an ultrasound done just to check things out and make sure there's not been any changes with baby Howie. So we'll go in and see if uh, see if we can find where we're supposed to be. Here we go guys, on to the <laughs> appointment. We're out of the doctor's appointment and she had an ultrasound. The baby's looking good, really good. And I keep telling her all the praying that's been happening. We sure appreciate all that. She's actually still, what are you, 30, almost 34 weeks? Yeah. She's 30, almost 34 weeks, but the baby has actually measuring 35. 35? Almost, almost 36. Almost 36 weeks, and he weighs 5 pounds, 5 ounces. So all the uh, concerns about him being 2 or 3 pounds has disappeared, and now we're just working on getting him to, right now, 37 weeks, and we're, when uh, we'll, she has a doc, another doctor's appointment on Tuesday to find out what they're thinking. They t done some more tests on her thyroid today, and what was that other word? Tachycardia. Just to make sure that she's okay with all that. So we're done here at this massive uh, hospital. hospital, a combination clinics here um, in Tahlequah at the, what do they call this, Indian Hospital? Hastings. Yeah. Hastings. And um, it's a very beautiful place, but very large. We went to the wrong place to begin with and had to walk. <laughs> Seemed like 500 miles to where we were supposed to be. So we're finished up here and we've got a couple of errands to do and we may take you along for those. See you in a little bit. Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those quick little clips of, of Cheyenne and I at Tahlequah yesterday. Uh, we had to go to her uh, ultrasound appointment for the baby and a full... Um, and the anatomy scan and everything's good with him. Uh, he is actually, they're estimating five pounds and five ounces right now. She'll be 34 weeks pregnant tomorrow, so he's doing really well. Um, we don't seem to have any kind of concerns at the moment with him. We're still concerned with Cheyenne. She's still considered high risk and um, they're retesting her thyroids again. They want to check her thyroid numbers and uh, they're still monitoring tachycar tachycardia, um, high blood pressure, and um, you know, really, really monitoring her. Uh, some of you were concerned seeing her uh, on that tractor, but she didn't do, she didn't really, I promise, do anything strenuous. She just got up there and drove the tractor for just a little bit and she got right back off. So she is uh, taking it easy. She's not ordered to complete bed rest since she's come home. She does have to take it easy. She's not allowed to lift or um, do do that kind of stuff. But she, uh, she can drive. She's not on restrictions with that. But we're trying to be careful and kind of not letting her go anywhere by herself just in case. And uh, she has another appointment next week with her regular obstetrician. And um, the plan is to go to 37 weeks. And we don't know for sure if, if that'll hold or not. I have a project I want to show you today, just a real quick one. And I wanted to give you an update. For those of you that were so kind to uh, 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 go on to Cheyenne's uh, baby registry and get her a, a gift for, for baby Howie, we want to say thank you and we appreciate that. We, um, have got, we're going to be sending out thank you cards. But we were um, notified by our postal service that um, a whole entire pallet of Amazon packages... Uh, were were um, failed to arrive at the Gore Post Office where we live, and some of the ra surrounding towns they didn't get their pallets of Amazon deliveries either. 
So I was kind of concerned about that, more so because I wanted you guys, everyone works hard for their money, and I wanted you guys to um, get what you expected. And so um, we didn't want you to think that we weren't being polite by sending thank you cards. Um, it's just that some of those things uh, are stuck somewhere out here in the Amazon universe somewhere. So I wanted to take this time. I've talked to my postmaster today and she told me to make sure that I told you guys that did order and had things sent here that if you haven't been notified by Amazon that your um, or that the order was delivered that you should be getting an email and if you don't have it already this was like uh, the palette from the last week of October was supposed to show up that's the one that's missing and um, that if you haven't got notification that your gift arrived was delivered then you should be getting notification from Amazon that they are going to you can choose whether you uh, are refunded your money or you resend the gift I guess they do a credit and whatever that is and that's totally up to you I just wanted you guys to know that there's been a little bit of problem with that and um, you should be getting notification if you haven't already that uh, we we have no idea uh, the post postmaster said they still don't know where the package is at or the packages are the palette of Amazon packages when we click on it from this end it says that it's in transit and that's all we can get so anyway uh, I just want to take this time to say thank you if something happens and um, if, whether you choose to refund your money or resend that's totally up to you but we want to tell you thank you for your thoughts regardless of which way you go and your um, kindness and so let's go on to our project here now I'm standing you can't see it yet but I'll turn the camera around in just a second I'm standing in front of this big peach tree that um, has really not been much of a producer for us since the time that we that Howie and I planted it we actually thought that we had planted a plum tree and we have a plum tree off to um, the left here and um, we thought that this was a plum tree however um, we have discovered that it is actually a peach tree and this year it had teeny little peaches on it because it's never produced this year it had little bitty peaches on it I have a big branch that is broken and I have some branches that didn't do anything they didn't put any leaves on they didn't do uh, they didn't do any they didn't bud out they didn't do anything so I want to make sure and I got this bright blue yarn <laughs> I want to make sure that I tie ribbons or yarn around those branches so that when we go to prune and and a couple of a couple of the branches will probably have to come off with a chainsaw but when we go to prune we'll be able to know for sure that we're getting the stuff that has to come out and um, if this little tree um, fails to produce it'll probably come out even in the Bible uh, Jesus tells the story about the uh, the gardener, and this is Josie paraphrasing the gardener with the uh, tree, and it wouldn't produce. And what good was the tree? And they were wanted to cut it down, and the gardener said, "Let me dig around it and and fertilize and do the things and see if the thing produces." And um, so I want to give it a chance. Listen to me, little tree. I'm giving you a chance. And next year, if we still don't have any progress with it, I will probably take this tree out and put something in its place. And so I'm going to turn the camera around so that you... Okay, you two. <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera around so that you two can... I'm going to turn the camera around so that y'all be able to see what I'm talking about here. Now this limb right here is broken. And it's uh, it broke early in the spring. And it has since, you know, rotted, and um, it's not any good. It's split all the way up. I really don't think I need to tie a. The tree's got my hair here. I don't think I need to tie a ribbon or a yarn around it because if they can't see this great big broken piece, um, I don't think they're going to be able to see this yarn. 
So this particular one, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get it taken out, and then um, we'll move on and see what else we can find. So this this limb right here, and I'm going to take it all the way down to the base. It did put on some leaves, a few, um, but I can tell that it's really not the healthiest branch that we have. And I'm going to try to get the tree shaped up a little bit this next year. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to choose to mark this one for it to be taken out. I'm going to tie that on there pretty good so it doesn't come loose. Uh, it probably wouldn't go to waste. A bird would probably pick that up and put it in their nest. But uh, I want it to stay on this tree so that they, so that the guys know, or me, know which one to take off. I have another really big branch right here, and it it didn't do anything. There's no leaves, there's no anything on it, and uh, the bark is kind of split, and it's not healthy. So I'm going to tag it too for it to be taken out. And um, I'm looking at this tree, and I'm hoping that it can be saved, but I really, I just, I don't know. So that one will come out. Now you want to make sure, you want to make sure that you don't take a whole bunch out of your tree at one time. But I do have some things that need to come out. Uh, to make to make this healthy well there you have it guys I've got this tree tagged and I've got several more that need tagged before uh, time for the to get the chainsaw and the loppers out and uh, we'll be ready and uh, get these trees shaped up and ready to go for springtime I've got lots and lots of fall projects as I'm sure you guys do as well I've got lots of projects in the kitchen I've got lots of projects out in the uh, in the chicken yard I've got to get things shored up for them so that they stay nice and toasty for the winter time I got all the stuff out of the garden that we're going to be able to get and so I'm going to have uh, green tomato relish I've done that recipe before but I may go ahead and do it again um, I have a little bit more confidence not in the recipe I have know the recipe but confidence in front of the camera so I may possibly bring that recipe again to you I got two little sister-in-laws that are wanting some pepper juice and so I'm, I'm probably going to can up some pepper juice for them and who knows what else I have I have a, a, a I have a big project down by the pond to show you. It's not it's not anything to do on the pond. It's just to show you some um, some different things that's been taking place. And uh, I'm gonna keep practicing the tractor. So anyway, until next time, guys. This is Josie. I love you guys. I really do. We're gone. <laughs>